Now, Dangote Group plans to become a $100 billion business. Well, CNBC Africa spoke to Africa's richest man and founder, Aliko Dangote, about these plans and his arsenal ambitions during WEF Davos. No, I think it's not what is going to take us to $100 billion company. It's actually one of the uh, you know project you know in that location we have three projects you know we have the uh, you know gas pipeline which is 550 two pipelines of 550 kilometers from the Niger Delta of Nigeria into uh, Lagos then to West Africa uh, you know subsea you know which is uh, under the bed of the sea and then we have three million tons of uh, urea and ammonia MPK and the rest uh, then we have 650,000 barrels per day refining capacity, you know, oil refining capacity. Then we have about 1.3 million tons of uh, polypropylene and polyethylene. So it's a huge, it was actually, it will end up transforming the economy of Nigeria. How are you feeling about the Nigerian economy right now? We know that all businesses in that territory have been facing headwinds rather than tailwinds. I think we've been facing headwinds, but you know, if you look at it, our real issue in Nigeria is not a structural issue. Uh, it's a problem mainly triggered by the issues and problems that we have with the Niger Delta militants, uh, which they bombed a couple of, uh, you know, pipelines to, you know, stop the uh, export of our, you know, oil, of which the government is doing quite a lot, you know, having a dialogue with them. And I believe this issue will be resolved within this first quarter of the year. Once that is done, we are not really going to have all these issues about foreign exchange or whatever, because there will be additional revenue of about $1.5 billion a month. The impact of the depreciation of the Naira on your business? Well, there is an impact, but you know, business is always ups and downs. You know, we are in Africa for the long term, not only in Nigeria. Uh, if you are in Africa or you are in Nigeria for a short term, then you shouldn't be there. Uh, we are there for a long term, and I believe that we'll get out of our woods very soon. Just current news flow is that Nigeria is experiencing some very severe problems with the national grid as we speak, which started on Sunday the 15th of January 2017. How bad is the situation? What are your team saying on the ground? By, by, co by coincidence, I've spoken to somebody just as I was coming here. He called me for something else, uh, who is the, uh, like, number two at the Ministry of uh, Power, you know, the PAMSEC. And uh, he said, I know they are resolving those, uh, you know, problems. They are actually, we are having more power back off. Uh, it was a systems collapse, which sometimes we do have, depending on what really triggered it, you know. But I think it's been sorted. And then just a final question, your ambition to buy Arsenal, the uh, London-based soccer club, football club, you stated that in uh, September 2016. I, 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 I've said that and I've made clarification, I will. What I have right now, I want to finish this major project that I have, which is almost $18 billion, then I'll concentrate and then I'll face Arsenal.